most of the students are confused about the relation between voltage and current because according to ohms law voltage is directly proportional to current but according to power formula voltage is inversely proportional to current in these two which statement is true and what is the difference between these two so let's clear your confusion with this video first of all let me explain about this power formula we know p is equal to v into i for example i am taking power as 40 and voltage is 20 and current is 2 okay so in first example i am taking power as constant means i am taking same 40 here but here i am changing the voltage so here i am increasing the voltage so for example if i take the 40 then what is the current here then i is equal to 40 by 40 then you will get the 1 amp okay what will happen if you take power as constant but if you increase the voltage that current will be decreased from 2 amps to 1 amp right so here that is the relationship between voltage and current here if voltage is increasing then current is decreasing right that is the power formula voltage is inversely proportional to current yet where yet only p is constant okay actually you can see this first example in transformers okay in transformers if you take the step up transformer what will happen in step up transformer voltage will be increasing right from 10 volts to 20 volts for example okay so if voltage is increasing current will be decreasing right actually step up voltage transformer is also known as the step down current transformer means here voltage increasing current decreasing but power is constant in our transformers you can see okay so if power is constant then only voltage is inversely proportional to current here i am taking another example for clear explanation if i take the p is equal to vi here i am taking the same 40 is equal to 20 into 2 okay so in second example i am increasing the power as well as voltage also so in this example i am increasing the 40 to 120 here and i am also increasing the voltage from 20 to 40 here and what is the current here so if i need to find out the current what will happen then i is equal to you will get the 3 amps right so here if you increase the power and voltage then current also increasing so here if power changes then that voltage and current also changes right if you directly see this p is equal to vi here this power is directly proportional to v and this power is directly proportional to i also so if power increases then this voltage and current also increases so that is happened here if i am increasing the power as well as voltage then current also increasing right so means here this voltage is directly proportional to current when if power changes okay that is the thing you need to know this power formula will be applied at power constant okay if power is constant then only v is inversely proportional to i if power is not constant then again v is directly proportional to current like ohms law like in second example and coming to this ohms law here i am taking the ohms law like the same but here in place of power we are taking the resistance only that's it okay here also i am taking two examples in example one for example i am taking the v is equal to 20 and this current is equal to 2 amps and this uh, resistance is equal to like 10 ohms okay in this example first of all i am increasing the 20 to 40 volts and i need to find out the current what will happen okay but here i am also not changing the resistance i need to take the constant resistance here that's why i am not changing the resistance just i am only increasing the voltage from 20 to 40 let's see what happened so we need to find out the current right so this high is equal to 40 by 10 you will get the 4 amps here if you take the resistance is constant if you increase the voltage then current increasing right from 2 amps to 4 amps it will be increasing that's the Ohm's law so Ohm's law only obeys at resistance constant okay resistance and temperature at constant only okay so for better clarification i am taking the example 2 also i am taking the same 20 volts and 2 amps and 10 ohms resistance so here i am changing resistance also in second example in first example i am taking resistance as constant right in second example i am changing resistance also here i am changing this 20 volts to 40 volts and here i need to find out the current what will happen and here i am changing this 10 ohms to 40 ohms okay so here i am changing the resistance and voltage let's see what happened so 
I is equal to what? One amp only. That is the thing. If you change the voltage and resistance also, then your current will be decreasing from two amps to one amp. So here it does not obey Ohm's law, right? It is decreasing means voltage is inversely proportional to current. That's the thing you need to know, right? Here, 20 volts to 40 volts, you are increasing the voltage, but current will be decreasing from 2 amps to 1 amp. That is inversely proportional to I. But that is not Ohm's law, right? Here, the main thing is whenever you need to apply the formula, Ohm's law is always V is equal to IR, yet resistance and temperature is constant only okay and whenever if you want to apply the power formula p is equal to vi here power must be constant that's it these two are the main things you need to know